Yeah. Right, guys, it's your boy Mark and Mark. I'm here for Pinoy Bounce Ball Culture. We're here at Dundas Eden Center to look for the Raptors culture 20, to celebrate the 25 years of Raptors history and finally making the championship. So join me in this mission to find that sculpture. I'm here at the mall right now, Eden Center. I'm still looking for the statue, the sculpture. I still can't find it. They give me clues. They said it's around Bay and Dundas, Bay Street or Queen Street. I don't know where it is, but we, we have to find this. It's a 25 looking sign, right? Peace to the past, reach for the future. We're gonna come find you. Okay guys, I think I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer to find the Raptor sculpture. I think it might be here. Like, you know, inside this TTC bus maybe. Hey, 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 I need your help, man. I need your help. I'm looking for the Raptor sculpture, the one that looks like a peace sign and a high five. And it's for the Raptors. We're trying to get it for a video. Dude, it's like literally right behind you. I don't know what you guys are. That's not it. It said it looked like a 25 peace sign. That looks like a 52. What up guys, your boy Marky Mark for Pinoy Bands Ball Culture. I'm here at the Raptors Culture. I'm here with Thomas. How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling great. Feeling great? I'm good, I'm good. Tell me about the sculpture right here. What does this mean? What does it say about just Canada or Toronto in general celebrating the Raptors winning the championship? It looks pretty awesome. 25 years of uh, going through the kind of like uh, hardships of being a, an NBA team and now they're kind of on top. So it's nice to kind of have that uh, memoriam year where they've kind of won last year and now they're uh, on top. So it's nice to have that on the 25 year mark. Tell me a little bit about the Raptors championship title, the run that they had. Did you watch it closely? What was your uh, what was your favorite part about it? Yeah, I know. I watched every game. Even I was over in uh, Cuba and I was still watching the games there. I think it just uplifted the whole, uh, the whole city. Even people who hadn't watched basketball in their life all of a sudden love it. So you got to like when it brings the whole city together and everyone loves winning and that's what the Raptors did so it was incredible. Talk to me about that last the last game that where they won the, where we won the championship. Where were you at? Talk to me to me that day. How what, what was that day like for you? Yeah, honestly, like a lot of my friends went out, but I just wanted to stay home with my mom, my sister. We watched the game. It was incredible. We jumped off at one, and then I ran to uh, my local bar and celebrated with my friends because we've been watching the Raptors forever. And it was nice to see them finally complete and get that chip with the dip. <laughs> I like that. I like that. And I guess to end it all off. What, is, what do you think this sculpture and, and this signature to the Raptor fans and or to Canada in general, people out there? I mean, it just shows the culture of Toronto. We're so like artistic, we're so out there, we're so culturally sound that it just shows like everyone to come together to see this sculpture is just awesome, kind of completes the victory together and we can come out and celebrate it together. It's awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Thomas. Appreciate right. it. What up guys, I'm here with Dean, with the sculpture here. Tell me a little bit, what, what does this mean to as you as a Raptor fan, as a Toronto, as a Canadian, fellow Canadian, what does this mean to us? Honestly, th this sculpture right here, it means everything. As Raptors fans, as Canadians, this sculpture represents us. This is the six. This is Toronto. We are NBA champions. Kawhi may have left. But the championship stays. And I will tell you now, there will be glory again. Look me in the eyes, you too. The championship will return to Toronto. Mark my words, you, and you, and you, and you, and you. The Toronto Raptors will reign supreme again. Tell me a bit about, I mean, you said you've been to every playoffs. Yes. Talk to me through that playoff journey and through winning that title. What was it like for you? What was your favorite part about it? Honestly, Cooking curry in the six was pretty nice, and I was I was shocked at, at we were able to just dominate them every game, just come out 110 percent and just just walk away with a with a with a chip. It was it was unsuspect. Is this on? Yes. Oh, okay, it's on. But yeah, it was it was an incredible experience. Every game, the emotions was just building up, and it was just unreal it was a surreal experience to be a part of that and it's something that toronto and canada as a whole is never going to forget any last words i guess that you want to say to raptor fans out there any any basketball fans out there any last word you want to say to them it's don't lose hope 
Like everyone's so derailed that we lost Kawhi Leonard, but honestly, that's that's a process. Siakam is the next big thing, yes. and we're we're gonna go so far. We don't have him anymore, but we're gonna we're gonna win another championship, guys. Honestly, Raptors! What up, guys? Your boy Mike Hamrock. I'm here with Lawrence talking about the sculpture here. Tell me a little bit, what does this mean to you as a Raptor fan and as a fellow Canadian watching the, you know, the Raptors win the NBA championship? Uh, I think it means a lot to everybody here, especially knowing that in the league itself, we always get put down, you know, as Canadians alone. And it's cool to know that, you know, we have a local artists here that can like kind of showcase and pay homage to what we did, right? You know, what, what the city went through and everything like that as well. Talk to me about the, the whole championship run and title that we had. What was your favorite part about it? Did you, what was your favorite game and what went through your mind? when this went all all went down and became a champion well I think for everybody it's probably the shot you know against Philly to kind of close it out it was a big deal right because I think just the whole run itself was kind of unreal us obviously just kind of uh, depending on Kawhi to like you know do a lot of it but the whole team stepped up right especially after like Freddie had his kid and everything and like that he just went off so I think it was just amazing to watch everybody get together and show that like a bunch of underdogs and people who are undrafted themselves can like can win the chip and then last words, I guess, you want to say to all fans and, and to all basketball Raptor fans all over Canada, what do you want to see or what do you expect from the Raptors this season? What do you really want to see them do? What I want to see is a repeat. That's what I want to see. I want to see another chip. And that's basically it. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Lawrence. Appreciate it. Thanks, what up, guys? I'm here with Lenny. How are you feeling tonight? Good, I'm doing uh, good. I'm doing talk to me about this sc sc whole sculpture. What does this mean for fellow fans like you, Raptor fans, and Canadians out there to see that the whole city is celebrating the Raptors winning the NBA championship? So um, I went to New Blanche specifically to just come to see this because I am a Raptors fan and I heard that they have a whole statue dedicated to the 25 years of the Raptors. So I wanted to go and check this out. It's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. Um, yeah. Awesome. Talk to me about the whole Raptors title run. What was your favorite part about it? What does this mean to you as a fan to finally win it after 25 years of franchise and being a Raptors? So I'm not a bandwagon fan. I've been a dedicated fan, a very disappointed fan for years and years and years. I used to stand out in Jurassic Park in the cold and the rain with my friend Hessa and whether rain or shine, we would go out there, try to support them. They would lose, but we were still a dedicated fan. But to see them win this year was like, Overwhelmingly, I, I, there was no words to describe it. Um, so I had, I had a, I had a, th a decision to make. I was like, I actually went to the championship game. I went to game two, the only game that they won on home. So I was one of those lucky people. I was like, pay my tuition or go to the Raptors championship game, and I chose to go to the Raptors game. And when I say it was one of the best moments of my life to see that, I, I almost cried. I'm not even gonna lie. To see them and witness them, which win their only game two, their only game home was unbelievable. I was out on the streets and I was celebrating with the whole city and it was such a beautiful thing to see the whole city, no matter what, like different colors of people all come together. The whole city was together. It was such a beautiful thing to see. We were dabbing up people, high-fiving everybody in the city and it was such, such a beautiful thing and I'm so glad I was a part of it and I can go and tell my kids and my grandkids about it. So it was a beautiful run and I'm so happy to, I was so, I have never been so proud to be from Toronto. Let me say that, that's the that's perfect way explain that yeah any last word that you want to say to all the Raptor fans out there about this season that's upcoming up what do you want to see from them um, I'm hoping I'm hoping that we can still go to the playoffs um, you know obviously Kawhi left us and it's kind of heartbreaking but I still have trust in my side I have trust in the team the organization that they can still you know pull through and forever we the north you know go Raptors go you know we're still champions no matter what 2019 I hope you guys enjoyed that segment and were able to see the statue because it was amazing and the amount of effort and remember the guy that made it shout out to Brian Espiritu, a Filipino Canadian putting work out there and the hand from Mark Valena that's his hand right there that five so I hope you guys enjoy that this is our segment Ingrid any last words you want to say to our audience be sure to check us out on Instagram Twitter and YouTube at Pinoy Bounce any last word James to our audience Check out PinoyCrossover.ca for new content. Awesome. Other than that, guys, stay balling.